Today I am starting off with a 24 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia. I will have a discount code linked for you guys in the description. I am taking my 80 grit sanding block and I'm just going to give it a good roughing to make sure that the tumbler is not shiny anymore. Now we are going to take some white paint. I'm using chalk paint, but you can use acrylic paint or you can even use spray paint. You also can tape this off, but I chose just to eyeball it. And we're just going to paint one big section of a swirl going around our cup. Once your white paint is dry, you're going to paint the rest of your cup in some sort of a neon color. I chose yellow and I'm using the pop of color neon yellow. Now, looking back, hindsight, I knew better than to do this. I should have painted my whole cup white and then just added the neon on top and it makes your neons way more vibrant. So, you guys do that. Learn from my mistake and make it easier on yourself. Paint your whole cup white and then just paint a bright yellow swirl. Once your paint is all dry, we're going to mix up just a couple milliliters of epoxy so we can apply our glitter using the epoxy method. You don't have to worry about where you spread it right now but we are concentrating mostly on the white section. And then you're going to take an opal color. I chose the color Bubbles this time, and we're going to apply that just on the white section. We are going to be using the Daler Rowney Neon Acrylic Inks in pink, yellow, and blue. And I'm just gonna take a few droppers full and put them in some medicine cups. Using a small round pointed brush, we are going to start with the yellow and we are just going to draw on our swirl. You're going to start small and gradually grow the distance between each swirl. Now go back with your yellow, and this time we are going to be starting to add our paint strokes. We're just going to start by adding lines. What you're kind of thinking in your head right now is splitting the distance between each swirl by thirds. So I kind of find it helpful, helpful to go back and add kind of guidelines because your hand muscle memory gets used to just creating the same stroke over and over and we need those strokes to grow so it looks more like realistic tie-dye and so just give yourself some guidelines here and then go back and just fill in between each guideline with small thin strokes of paint.
Now we are going to grab our pink. This time I don't make guidelines just because I feel that it's easier to split two colors in half than it is to think thirds while you're painting. And this is kind of where the magic happens and it's actually going to create orange because those two inks will kind of bleed together. So even though we're only using these three colors, it's going to look like you use much more. So we're just going to take and kind of split the white glitter up into twos now and just split it in half and make some thin strokes and then extending some a little bit longer and then go back to your shorter strokes and then that's what will give you that realistic tie-dye swirl pattern. Now just go in with your blue and fill in the rest of that white glitter, leaving some long strokes up onto the yellow to create green. Now we are just going to seal that glitter tie-dye side in with epoxy. You don't have to epoxy your whole cup here. Just make sure the tie-dye side is covered. Once that epoxy on the tie-dye side has cured, we're going to mix up a couple more milliliters of epoxy and we're just going to spread this on the yellow side and a tiny bit up on the tie-dye side. We are just going to take our next glitter color, which I chose tropical. It's a bright, beautiful, chunky yellow. And I'm going to start off kind of following the line we created with the paint. And then once I get it all on the entire cup, we are going to just take a little bit in our hand and sprinkle it on that line to soften it up just a tad. I decided I didn't want just a harsh line, so we're going to sprinkle a teeny tiny bit on the tie-dye area.
taking those same inks as before, we're going to add some glitter glue or Mod Podge. I like the Color Flex glitter glue a little bit better than Mod Podge, so I will be using that. I exchanged the yellow inks for the orange and then added green. I'm using this stiff paintbrush. I liked, like it a little bit better. Um, it kind of makes me dab and make an uneven blob for the middle of our leopard spots instead of painting. I feel like we try to be too precise with our painting. So the dabbing helps me. Maybe it will help you guys as well. After you get your paint on, you're going to take a coordinating color while that glue is so wet and just sprinkle that on. I'm using Totally Tubular for the blue. And then we are going to go on to our second color, which I am going to sprinkle on the color Radical. For the orange spot, I am going to be using the glitter color Gnarly. And for the pink spot, we are going to be using its Electric. I'm just going to alternate these colors all the way down the yellow swirl. I mixed up some black paint with some glitter glue and I'm going in with the same brush adding the outside of my leopard spots so I just like to kind of alternate what I do here sometimes I only do one side sometimes I split half and half and we are sprinkling on while that glue and paint is still wet the color formal it's such a pretty black and it gives off the prettiest sparkle even under epoxy.
I like to go in between where there seems to be too big of a gap in between the big leopard spots. And I'm just making these small C shapes sporadically and then also sprinkling on that beautiful formal glitter. is our tumbler all finished i think this is a bright fun and cheery design i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did please remember to like and subscribe to my channel look for me on all other social media platforms under diamonds and dust and thanks so much for watching